All right, we're revisiting the Studio Series Transformers Grimlock. Why am I doing this? Because I just did a video on a third-party Transformer Grimlock from uh, the movie version, Age of Ex Extinction. But here is Grimlock Studio Series. It's a solid figure. It really is. It's grown on me over the years. The only complaint I have about it is that silly shielded plate there that's on his upper torso there and his chest covering the Autobot symbol. I don't know why they did that. Just take that off and just leave the Autobot symbol. I know you can unscrew it, which I haven't done yet, um, but I, I have no idea why Hasbro did that. But it's a solid figure. So this one I filmed in the summertime, and now we're going back to two years ago when we had filmed it the first time at Guild Park in Toronto, and it kind of goes with the theme there of the, you know, mythological god in the background there of the columns, you know, because Grimlock, you know, you know, self-proclaims himself as King Grimlock, as we know. So it actually works really well now that I look back at it. I'm like, you know what? Grimlock really works great in the backdrop there with the face there of a god there with the columns. It really goes well with Grimlock. It's pretty cool. It's a, it's called Guild Park in Toronto. So if you're ever in the Toronto area, check out Guild Park. It's by uh, the Scarborough area by the beaches there. Really, really cool area to film action figures even so people look at you like are you filming a toy yes i am um anyway there he is in his t-rex form again if you want to check out our older videos like from two years ago about how to transform him into t-rex mode go ahead um i one thing i gotta give hasbro is transforming their transformers compared to third fourth parties are a lot easier there's not as many steps, it's not as intricate, but, you know, sometimes as Transformer fans, you want the challenge, but again, figure is perfect, honestly, the Studio Series are doing a really, really good job with it, just that shielded plate would have made this figure a 10 out of 10, uh, just like Slug Slag, they both look great, alright, take care everyone.